Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide Training. Today we will learn performance testing with Blaze Meter. If you are following our DevOps tutorial series, you know that we have already deployed our Spring Boot web app in a Tomcat server in AWS EC2. And we have pulled the project from GitHub repository and through Jenkins, we have deployed that in Tomcat server in AWS EC2. If you want to know about how we have done this, please check our past video tutorials for that. Now, you should have this setup to go further for performance testing with Blaze Meter. Now, what is Blaze Meter? Blaze Meter is a continuous testing platform. Blaze Meter offers a cross enterprise test automation framework for the entire technical team throughout the product development life cycle. So let's go and configure our Jenkins with Blaze Meter for performance testing. As prerequisite of this tutorial, you should have the Jenkins setup, web app deployed in Tomcat, and a Blaze Meter account. I will show you how to create the Blaze Meter account. But if you are following our DevOps tutorial, you already know how to set up Jenkins, how to deploy web app in Tomcat server in AWS EC2. Or otherwise, if you have directly landed to this tutorial, please check our past tutorial for this prerequisite. Now let's move on to the Jenkins configuration. I'm here at my Jenkins dashboard and let me show you, I have my web application up. If you have followed our past video on how to deploy a web application in Tomcat server, then you know that how it was de deployed and it is up and running currently because we will be doing the performance testing on this small web application which we have deployed. Okay, our Tomcat is running and here goes the blaze meter as i told you to start with blaze meter please go to blazemeter.com and you can click on start testing now if you don't have the login already then you have to register with your first name last name email and company is optional so since i have the login already let me log in i am logged into my blaze meter account this is how it looks now before going further in BlazeMeter account, let me go back to Jenkins. And here, first we have to install one plugin to in integrate BlazeMeter with Jenkins. So let's go to Manage Jenkins. Scroll down and click on Manage Plugins. Go to Available, search here, typing BlazeMeter. Click here and installed without register. It has been installed. Now go to Jenkins dashboard again. Now we have to create one Jenkins job to call this blaze meter or the performance testing. So let's click on new item. Give a name. Click on freestyle project. Click OK. Here in this job, we are not mentioning the Git repository because the project has been already built and deployed in our Tomcat server and it is running already and we will be doing only the performance testing. Click add build step and you get this blaze meter. If you don't get this blaze meter, it means that you didn't install the blaze meter plugin I already showed you. So click on that. And here it is asking for the credential workspace ID, blaze meter test, e server URL, all this. So we have to create the credential first. Now you can right click on this to follow this guide for getting new credential and open in another tab and it will show you how to create that. Okay. But I am, since I am logged into my blaze meter account already, so let's go and create it. Click on performance. Click on this gear icon. 
left side on click on this API keys okay click on this plus button and give a name and select the expiry for this tutorial purpose I am just selecting it for three months suppose and you can select it accordingly create generate and here is our API key now go back to our Jenkins since I have already created this job with this job name so just let me save because we have to come back and enter the credential details and to add the credential for blaze meter go to Jenkins dashboard go to credential click on Jenkins click on global credential click on add credential and in kind select blaze meter credential here is API key API secret ID and description so you have to copy it from here so copy this API key paste it here copy the API secret paste it here give ID description Click on test blaze meter credential successfully validated credential click on OK and you can close this now go back to Jenkins dashboard click on the job we were creating performance test click on configure scroll down see automatically it has selected this credential ID as blaze meter which we have already created default workspace blaze meter test server URL and all this now just save it now go back to blaze meter because we have to create one test here to create test under performance click on create test click on performance test because we are going to create the performance test enter URL or API calls here so go back to our web app this is our get call copy it here and in request name you can just say home our job is already configured as I showed you so inside job configuration this is the only part blaze meter and we have this configured already click save to go back and click on build now console output it is actually trying to test this DevOps part test which I have one old testing created so just let me delete that testing because this is my old test so I'm just deleting this test so now this is our one and only test so let's rename it like go back to Jenkins select the blaze meter test which is our newly created DevOps test TZ click on save now click on build now the build number 3 failed for as it is showing in your Jenkins log that test ID with this ID not found because we deleted one old test and it was trying to find so what we did we went to configuration job configuration scroll down and here at the blaze meter test drop down it has the number of test which you have created in blaze meter portal so we just selected our newly created test go back to Jenkins dashboard as you see that it is still going on performance test this fourth click on that console output and at the console click on this link the test report will be available at here 
and you can see the report is available max users throughput errors average response time response time and average bandwidth you can see various other reports as well like timeline report this is the timeline report with all users all hits and error request statistics engine health errors original test configuration by clicking all these tabs let's go back to summary and it's showing ETA 16 minutes it has passed 5 minutes and after 20 minutes as you see the test has successfully completed in blaze meter and let's go back to Jenkins and it says that build is successful and if you click on this link it shows you the full performance testing report so today we have learned how to integrate blaze meter with Jenkins to perform a performance test for our web application. Yeah.